Okay, we're here back on Wave Mount to say. Oh, wait, hold on. I might not be on. I'm on. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. All right, now we're back at White Mountain today. Well, you know, I shut that off when you come on because we <laughs> talk from the moment you, I don't right. even think I let you through the door. Well, I, I, I wouldn't want to hear the outtakes. So <laughs> yeah. we'll that. keep it muted for now. <laughs> but Laura Cummings from White Birch Books, and uh, always glad to see you on my script because Thank you bring you. some really cool stuff. And not only books, you're a bookstore, but you have. Right. A huge counter of knickknacks and socks, which right. I just have grown over the last two years to love socks. It's like probably one of my favorite <laughs> items of clothing. Well, it's very funny because yesterday I had my rep there all day long. I was buying stuff all day long, and he's my sock guy. And I had dropped something. I happened to, you know, <laughs> look down, and there he's wearing some crazy socks. I'm like, you have the socks on? He goes, I wear them all the time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, the nice thing is, is that they're cool, but they're right. also comfy and well right. made. So yes. it's not something that's going to fall apart after. Right. They're not going to be down around your ankles. Yeah. That horrible. Sludgy, and I love them. And the ninja, socks. I saw the ninja socks yes. immediately. They're men's socks, though. They are men's socks. So we are getting some <laughs> new styles, and they are making the lower ones for women, okay. too. Yeah. But I those like are men's though. socks. And these are, I brought kind of Halloween themes, yeah, you know, okay. a wolf howling, the black cat, yeah. the ninja, black ninja, and everything. So yes, we do have a, a lot of socks at the store. But um, it's funny, because we were just talking about this yesterday. We have customers who come in and don't even make it past the counter. <laughs> and they've already got a huge pile, and they're like, we haven't even seen the rest of the store. And I'm like, that's OK. Next yeah, time. You know, Next time. You really could, I mean, hours. If, right. if you have the time, plan to spend at least a few hours in the shop, because not only are you going to find some great books, but there's all the stuff to look for. And you know, it's, right. people don't want to talk about Christmas at Halloween, of course. But no. you know, start. Start little somethings here and well, it here is. and there, and then you can have a nice selection of quality right. gifts right. that you're not last minute. Instead of last minute. Yeah. Well, that's what we had a woman yesterday who did exactly that. Spent a lot of time there, and by the time she got up, she had tons of, you know, she had books, but she had little things. Yeah. She, she just, you know, cards, and she had this huge pile, and I was complimenting her because that's really, you know, not everybody has that time, but I said, you know, this is what we really hope for people to go and find their little treasures. Yeah, things you know, they mean. Sometimes find the bargain books or the cheap books, and as well as the gifts and everything, and she goes, well. I left my husband at home. <laughs> and I was like, okay. and he was probably happy yeah. too. Too much information, <laughs> but you know, good job. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, awesome. Um, so some of the things that they can find right in the shop. Right. Well, I brought a little bit of everything, but first, I want to talk about this book, Night Blindness, which I don't know if you, um, this is a debut novel, okay. and it just came out in paperback. And the reason why we're highlighting is she's coming next oh. week. The author, Susan Strecker. And she's going to do one of our luncheons with us. Okay. And this time we're going to be at the Sea Dog Brewing Company. Fun. Um, yeah, they, they were great. And um, it helps <laughs> raise money for the North Conway Library. Oh. It's a $20 ticket. We still have some, so I definitely want I want more people to come. I'm about halfway through or a third. I'm really enjoying it. It's a New England book. It's um, you know something happened 20 years ago. Wow. Everybody ran away from it, and now they have to face it. Type of story, you know, buried secrets. But what's really interesting is that this author, in her bio, she um, lost her brother wow. at some you know as, as an adult. But anyway, the the main character. That's the hole in their family is that the brother died. And um, you know, sometimes with books like that, you can really f see the realness of yeah. it. And you know, it's not like, oh, this would be a great emotion. It, they're mm. real. Mm. You can really get to the they're honesty raw, yeah. of it. So mm. um, I think it's really good. And I really, I want more people to come. All so right, they so just have she's to, coming to town, though. She's coming to town. And you do need a ticket, because it's a whole lunch. And um, they can get it from us. Um, or at the North Conway Library. Oh, that's fun. And yeah. proceeds go to the library. Yep, whatever, um, yeah. whatever's left over goes to fund the library. We do a lot of stuff with them, and we try to do a lot of stuff with all the local libraries, you know. Right. Reading is reading. Go reading. Well, the thing is, I think <laughs> you, you both have a great love of reading. Right. And right. I think the libraries are a great resource, as right. are you guys. So it's right. not really a competition. No, thing. You it's guys, not. Like, can help each other because studies have proven over the years. Everyone's like, "Well, e-books are going to kill the physical right. book." It's not true. It's it not happened. true. I just came back from my trade show, and it's emphatically not 
true. And it's ebooks have a place. They definitely do. And I don't it's think the they're instant. going away. No. But um, there's definitely one's not going to kill the other. Yeah. And there's definitely it's there's coexisting. And actually, bookstores are doing really well, surprisingly. <laughs> <Like> but <laughs> yes, finally. <laughs> um, but you know, we still get. We had a customer who came in. He's like. This is like a dead business. <laughs> what? It's like, like dude, out, it's out. Like, it's like, look what's outside. <laughs> you know, but um, <laughs> you know, but that's kind of an old story. I'm like, as my son says to me, it's the 2015s. Get with it. You know. <laughs> oh <my so>. <laughs> that's awesome. And you guys have brought in some really cool stuff. Uh, you brought this in, and actually, Bell, our intern, was remarking how right. beautiful this is. So. Well, this just came out, and I guess I can stand it up, but the, and I don't know if they're going to do the entire series this way, okay. but it's a, um, the illustrated Harry Potter, and we ordered a lot of these because they said, you know, order now for what you're going to sell through the whole holiday season, because yeah. oh. they're probably not going to be available yeah. oh um, gosh, to reprint gorgeous. and Can everything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can I show? Oh, my goodness. Look at this. Look at this center here. That's gorgeous. Don't, there we go. Yes, yeah, so as Look I'm looking that. too. Yeah, right? <laughs> That's gorgeous. It is. It's just a whole other way to discover it. Let's and see if I can find another picture. Um, Look at that. And, you know, maybe a way to start over with hmm. kids and everything like that. Well, it's such a well-written series. I mean, it really is right. amazing. It's created its own genre, really. Right. And so we're, we mm, were just tickled gorgeous. when we got it because it was like, it is gorgeous. It made me want to read them again. Yeah. And, um, and it might also open up like the earlier novels because it gets, does get dark towards the end of the series. It does. But it also opens it up for maybe a right. slightly younger child that they could read with their parents. Right. Um, and, and just you know, t maybe taking it back from the movies a little bit. Mm. I know they're really totally tied together. You can't think of Har Harry Potter without thinking of Daniel Radcliffe, really. But um, this brings different elements to it and mm. broadens it a little. And anyway, I think it's a beautiful book. And okay. I hope we sell all the ones that we have. <laughs> but, but don't um, wait. Right, right, that's because, question. yeah, that's what she said, you know, when we have to reprint these, it's going to take a long time, right. so it'll be post-holiday by mm. the time that comes okay, around. Okay, so, so, yeah, get in there quick. Right. Okay, what else do So what have? else do I want to talk about? I, I talked about this last time I was on, but I think I have I to keep it, talking though. about You did miss it. Um, was the coloring craze. You must have heard about the I've adult about coloring it, yeah. craze. That it's, it's soothing for adults. And yes. It's like sort of the new pastime. It's like the new stress-free. It's like, it, but it was so funny because when I was here before, I said, yes, as an adult, you get to color, you, you can color in the lines. And mm. he's like, what if you don't want to? And I'm like, well, well, well. <gasps> well, if you're an adult, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> but these are kind Let's of the look. two books that started it all, The Enchanted Forest and The Secret mm. Garden. Okay. And we Stuck. have these as well as many, many other coloring oh, books. Hidden pictures as well. We oh, just cannot many. keep enough coloring oh. books in stock. Oh, my goodness. And so because of I'm that, we've also picked up, you know, colored pencils, colored markers, glitter, pens, yeah. everything to, to assist in the whole. Um, and it's not just for adults. I mean, there's a lot of great coloring books for kids, too. And these really do translate. Um, I could see totally pulling these out. Well, depending on how I colored them and framing them. Well, fancy you should say that Wait, because is, yeah, yes, <laughs> you, you segue right into this. something. What happened? Um, but the Secret Garden book has come out with an oversized one with perforated pages. Mm. So if you do do it in such a way that you really love it, you can just pull it out and frame it. And you have it in the shop. We have that in the shop. Wow. Yes, that was it, unplanned, folks. That was, and you have <laughs> we have cards that you can color and send mm. to people. I mean, oh, so this nice. coloring craze is very, very real. I like it though. And it's a cool um, thing. it and is very cool. You have some of the colored pencils there. Yes, and okay. these are just a few. We have a what's, lot what's of a different color. What's that color? Colored luster. I had it. Sounds metallic fancy. brush oh. tip metallic markers. Okay. So like it. yeah, we have like we have whole kits, you know, that are fairly expensive down to, you know, a five dollar bucket of colored pencils All and right. things like that. So you can, there's any number of ways you can go with the coloring, um, but it's supposed to be very good. What is your creative side? Your left brain. 
I don't know, but it's supposed <laughs> to be good for your creative side, and it's supposed to be relaxing. And you can do other things. You can watch TV. You can chat. You can, you know, as you're coloring. I always find myself doodling when right. I'm. Right you know, talking on the phone or whatever. So that, right. would, that would be great to have by the phone and, you know, by the kitchen table and yes. just whenever. Yes, yes. Awesome. And, and there's lots of, you know, the doodling, the guided art, you know, do art every day. What, what did I just see? Earth without art is just eh. eh. <laughs> I saw that so one too. It is. I'm like, oh, oh I get okay. it. I can use that. <laughs> okay, and so, a couple of the other books, a few of the other books. You well, know. I can we do. We even talk about this one. We this have a one. few. Well, I know we do have a few, and I always bring a lot just for fun. But I guess because Halloween is coming, okay. and this is such a cool cover. Yeah. This is a s series of um, ghost stories Ooh. written by. Any authors from um, Ray Bradbury okay. up to present day authors. It's a collection. Shame. I know it's got these little gold yeah. and it's got what, cats. What is the age on this? Like, is this something um, you could read to a no. semi-teenager? Oh, like semi-teenager certainly. Like, do um, we have twelve-year-olds? Um, maybe a little. I, I'm sure some of them are, and yeah. then some of okay. them are probably scarier. Okay. Um, but so if, kind of adultish. Then. Right. If okay. you read it, can I do this? I know you well, heard you it can, before. Well, you can, but bring it into the camera shot okay. so Where's they know the what's camera? going here we on go. here. So, and if you read it before you start, you can do this. <laughs> <laughs> also in the store. <laughs> right. Okay, okay. <laughs> when I yeah, ordered the these, too. when I ordered these, um, my staff was like, you've got to be kidding me. I was like, no, no, they'll be great and, it's, and seriously as soon as we fun. show them to somebody yeah. um, they're like can I buy two or three you know for grandchildren yeah. and things like that and uh, they're fun they're very fun we have um, little ghost uh, keychains that when you oh, squeeze them their eyes glow and they go you know it's you didn't know you needed it so. <laughs> until you saw it on the show. <laughs> right. <laughs> no, right. it's this House of Thieves. This House of Thieves, in fact, at my trade show, I just met this author. Ooh. He's very nice. He's an architect by trade, and that's what you can tell from his books. But this is set in um, early New York, and it's kind of a, um, a, what do they call them, the Knickerbocker family. It's a kind of wealthy okay. family. This is kind of like a little outskirt of that. but. Um, Anyway, they're kind of on hard times. Their old, their um, mature son is huge gambling debts, mm -hmm. and the people he owes to them says, "Okay, you got to help us break into houses." Oh, and because he's an architecture, an arch he's an architect. He can find the drawings and figure out how to do that. Oh. So all of a sudden, there's these huge, high profile. Pri profile <laughs> raids on all these expensive oh. family homes. But it's so interesting because, like, one house they break into, it has an emergency um, spiral wow. slide Ooh. and everything. So they use that to escape. I mean, all these great, if you think about, like, think about Newport and those giant yeah. mansions, they're, we're talking about houses like that. Mm. And so the architectural details are very interesting. And um, nice. by the end, you know, he's very, very reluctant. Um, but of course, by the end, it's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> it's very, it's- I could see my dad getting into this one. That's cool. Right. He's and an engineer by trade. He likes that. Oh, like. right. And what's fun, too, is it's this time in New York that's very interesting. Mm -hmm. um, kind of if you think about, you know, when I think of New York, I think of all the big um, giant buildings, but there used to be these grand stately mansions right. along, you know, Fifth Avenue yeah. and things like that. So, um, Splendid page turners what the... Yes, it was, it was a very fun read and, you know, just these yeah. little tidbits that only, you know, it's the same thing as um, the Night Blindness book when they bring a little something um, yeah. a little from themselves. Yeah. yeah, it's that little bit of truth mm. in there okay. and everything like that. Do you want to cover the last three while we're... Well, let me, let's do at least this one. I just one. don't want you to go. You can no, like, wrap not. the show with me if you want. It's only, what, 25 yeah, minutes away? Yeah, the weather? The weather's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Leaves. <laughs> this is what I was listening to in the okay. car right before I came down. Now, Absolutely. Jojo Moyes kind of hit the scene big with her book, um, Me Before You, which was about this Louisa Clark, this girl who had really no ambition and she started caring, um, being a caregiver for this man who was a quadriplegic. He had mm. been hit by a car. Before that, he had been wealthy, successful, a bit of a jerk. And um, anyway, thing, they fell in love, blah, blah, blah. Well, this book is 18 months later. Oh. And Louisa, who was supposed to go off and live her life and 
he had introduced her to all those things. Hasn't really. She's stuck. She works at this airport Irish so bar. Not, like, is that giving away too much? I can't. I okay. Can't tell all right. What happened. Gosh, it's just I eighteen know. months later. Well, you got to read it. <laughs> you could read this as a standalone. As I'm listening to it, I'm like, yeah, you didn't have to read the first book huh. to know where this one is going. But she's working at a bar where she, this Irish bar, where she has to wear this ridiculous spandex outfit <laughs> with a curly wig, and it's just awful. And um, Anyway, a piece of, um, her, of the past kind of appears at her apartment, and she finally gets a new love interest, paramedic oh. Sam. Um, and but she <laughs> is so she sabotages herself so much. So anyway, this book it makes you laugh, it makes you cry, which I was almost doing. I was like, no, you cannot do oh, this. Is this what you were listening yes. to in the car? <laughs> So I'm not quite done, and I'm dying to know what happens. But um, <laughs> I just awesome. really like her writing. She's yeah. very funny, and of course, it's um, it's British, mm. and so, so a little dry humor. Yeah. So when yeah. I get home, I start talking to my cats with my lovely British <laughs> accent. <laughs> that must drive your son bananas. Yes. He's like, Mom. Like, oh. <laughs> All right, we got two more if we have time. Hans is like. Oh. Oh, is he? Is he? Yeah. Check? Well, yeah. let me talk about this one, which is also let me let me. Oh, I don't have. I'm reaching for my glasses. Can I help? This is okay. 1883, New York. This is another okay. New York one. Okay. And what what really got me? This is about two women who are cousins, who um, one's a doctor and one's like a nurse midwife, which um, and the one who's a nurse midwife is from. Uh, New Orleans, and she is. She had um, a black father and a white mother, so they call it mulatto right. back then. Yeah. So she, you know, it's post Civil War, but um, and it's in New York, which is somewhat progressive, but still, she's socially. Mm -hmm. Anyway, the story is this is at the time when they were really cracking down on. Um, you know, there's tons of immigration, and they didn't want the immigrants. To have tons of children, but they also they didn't want to give. I mean, this is early morning television. I apologize, but they wanted. <laughs> they didn't want birth control, or they didn't want anything like yeah. that. Women, that was their job. Okay, yeah. The Comstock yeah. regulations. This Anthony Comstock, and was just like. So he was arresting doctors. Mm. He was arresting midwives. He was going after anybody who counseled women on how not to have like 15 it's kind kids. Of present day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's what was so Relatable. interesting yeah. was that this was um, you know this was 1883. Right. And it yeah. and it certainly has um, yeah. a lot of ringing stuff that that happens ah. now. But what was also funny about this was you also much like in House of Thieves you had a higher echelon family mm -hmm. as well as kind of the lower classes. Mm -hmm. it, you know, we've still so much of a class system. And that that time period in New York cuz post Civil War you don't really think about it's like okay, we had the Civil War, then everything was fine, and you know, there's then there was World War One. Yeah. Still a lot to work out. <laughs> right, and yeah. so this huh. was a great little snapshot. I don't know if there's more to come in this okay. series, but um, it's a good read on its own. It's, and it's a good hefty read. Yeah, lushly written. Yes, and as I was reading, I was like, why am I reading this big book? I don't have time to mm. read big books, but. I really yeah, it's beefy. It. Okay, and so, just our last one, real quick, Laura. Real quick, um, this is the continuation of the um, Girl with the Dragon Tattoo series. Oh. Um, most people know that the um, original author, Steve Larson, passed away after I his. I did not know that. Well, he he died before even the, all the books were out here in oh. the U.S. And it, there's a huge anyway. This man has been authorized by his family to continue the story huh. and um, Lisbeth Salander is just such a fantastic character that it's just so great to have her back. Oh good. <laughs> and it's called The Girl in the Spider's Web. Right. And there was Kick the Hornet's Nest something. The Hornet's Nest, the Dragon Tattoo. Yeah. There's and one other? Is there that? was a third one. Which so I this is the fourth. But this is the fourth okay. and it's a very um, it's a very good effort. I, I, I tell people this story. It's a little bit of a slow start, but as soon as we get to Lisbeth Salander, mm. it's just it's a roller coaster. She is just there's not a character like her. Mm -hmm. So um, it's well worth reading. Okay. And and okay. if anything, just to get back to that. Yeah, absolutely. It's a great character. Series. 
Um, now, let's talk about hours of operation where they can okay. find the bookstore. Right. So we are open 9.30 to 6, Monday through Saturday, and on Sunday we're open 10 to 5. And we are, oh, we just got a paint job. What? So people have to come <laughs> see it. We're bright and awesome. shiny. On the outside? On the outside, yeah. Oh. It's definitely, we've got a yellow band underneath the porch, and the purple oh. is a little more purple, and the green oh, is cool, greener. Oh, cool, because I've always liked sort of, you don't see it as much out here in the east, but in the west the western towns a lot of the houses have these really right. nice contrasting bright colors right. and that's why I've always loved about the well, outside we, so had the, we were it. so tired of people saying are you open oh. <laughs> I was like, yes we're open so we brightened things up the store looks great we are right. just um, just south of the park and the playground. We're across from TD Bank. Right. Well, you have that gas station there. I we wish they would do station. something with I, that because I, that's closed. Yes. And you guys are tucked like sort of back right. to the right. Um, but but you guys and then there's well. April Cornell on the other side, <laughs> yeah. which they also did a beautiful job oh, on good. their building. Good. And yeah, I kind of wish there was a very limited sinkhole that would yeah. just <laughs> suck in the gas station. Yeah. Maybe and, someone would buy and, and make you know, it something a nice. garden would yeah. come up. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, we are tucked back that little bit. So whatever, I mean, after a paint job, somebody came in and said, I've been driving by this for years. I never knew you were open. <laughs> You're like, no. Like, ah. <laughs> but now she knows. Good. And um, so it worked. Oh, cool. But, Come over um, and visit because you got to pick up the new socks, Halloween, of course, stuff. You right. have the books in. And you said, what are the hours again? What time do you open? Uh, 9.30 to, 9 6, 30 to 6, Monday to Saturday okay. and 10 to 5 on Sunday. Great. And um, yeah, we're there. We've got many more reviews than this. Much more stuff. Um, yeah. The and kids, I didn't even too. really talk about the kids' books, but there's some great kids' books yeah. right, right now, too. Yeah, multi-levels going on. So. Yes. But, yes. Laura, thank you so much. It was always a pleasure to have you and see what's in the shop. It motivates me to get back out there because I, right. I love it. When I'm there, I love it. You it's know, so, so fun. It's, I mean, that's the whole point is that it's, it's supposed to be a fun. You've got places to sit down. You can come blow in. We yeah. can work with that, but you can also enjoy yourself, and yeah. that's. I never want to leave. That's the problem. <laughs> it's like, that's I can just people are like, I, I have to stop now, and we're like, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. Keep going. <laughs> well, Laura, so. thank you so much. Always a pleasure, as I mentioned, and uh, looking forward to our next visit too, when you bring home. Right. Or in a whole new batch right. of books. We'll so. have little turkeys that jump yeah. up out of <laughs> There you go. I don't know about that. <laughs> well, thanks again. All right, folks. We're going to get to a weather forecast for the Mount Washington Valley. We'll also take another look at the events for the valley, including some Halloween stuff. So don't go away.